Hey everyone, it's Kelsey. So today I wanted to share my favorites of the Empire of December through January and on into February. I know it's kind of a strange timeline, but I feel like I've actually needed this long to test these products out and see if I really like them. And I absolutely love all of them. It is crazy. Like, my makeup routine has changed so much because of these products and I think it is awesome and uh, yeah so I'm gonna share a few things with you um, I'm gonna start with more foundation stuff if you watch my foundation routine video I actually went through all of these but I never really got around to reviewing them so I decided I would do that today so yeah, anyway, um, the first thing I want to talk about is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. This foundation is absolutely amazing. Um, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that my Holy Grail foundation was the Estee Lauder Double Wears. Well, this one is like on up in there with them so I think it's really cool um, I actually got this because I watch makeup by Tiffany D videos quite a bit and she has talked a lot about the makeup forever matte velvet plus she talks about how amazing full coverage it is and everything like that and um, she just really recommended this and I was a little I don't know, I was a little scared to try something else because I was like, you know, you've already found your good foundations, why do you want to try another one? And But I am so glad I did because while the coverage may not be exactly the fullest like it is with the Estee Lauder Double Wear, I would say this goes on pretty much like the light Double Wear. And... Uh, but yeah, just the coverage of this is really good. It's not the heaviest, fullest coverage. It is more like a medium to full coverage foundation. It actually feels really light on the skin. I love the texture of it. It's not sticky, and I kind of found the Double Wear Light to be a little bit of a sticky consistency, and I didn't like that too much, but this one is not, and even though you don't have a huge range of colors with this foundation like you do with some, I actually find, I believe I'm a 25. I'm pretty sure that's the color I am. I'm either a 20 or a 25. And the reason I know what color I am is I'm the pinker toned one because I've got cool undertones in my skin. So anyway, um, I was also a little scared to try it because I ordered it online from Sephora, but I did look at Temptalia's makeup matrix, foundation matrix, something like that, and you just, you kind of tell what your skin tone is, what undertones you have, if you're light, dark, light, medium, and you scroll through there and find your foundation that you use now, and then you can kind of use that to um, see which foundation you needed to use and it suggested either 20 or 25 so I picked the 25 I'm pretty sure this is 25 because it has more cool undertones to it whereas my double wear is a neutral so it doesn't match me exactly you know perfect like this one does and I think that's why I favor this one a little more because the other one is a neutral and this one's a cool tone. So yeah, anyway, um, that foundation is amazing. I really highly recommend trying it. It doesn't feel really heavy on your face. You still have, um, you, it feels like there's nothing there. You, your skin can breathe pretty much. So, but it does cover really, really well. I'm really impressed by the coverage. The next thing I want to show you is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, and my color is medium, actually, and that's kind of strange, I think, but this, using this as a setting powder is absolutely phenomenal. 
I was using the Estee Lauder Double Matte Powder and I don't know, this one is just so much better. It doesn't make your skin look super, super matte like the Estee Lauder one does. It still, it really does make your skin look natural. And um, this is the first time I've ever used like a face product from MAC and I'm really, really impressed. I don't think I will ever use another kind of face powder. This stuff is awesome and I don't know, it's just, it's great for setting under eye concealer. It's, um... It might be a little heavier coverage than you would like, but you can kind of change up how you can have the coverage. That's what I like about this. It's really versatile. You can make it heavy coverage. You can make it light coverage. And it just, it looks good in any way that you do it. So I absolutely love that powder. The next thing I want to talk about is the Benefit Erase Paste. And I have the color... I think it's number one, it's the fair color. It's either called fair or light, but I think it's fair. Um, what I really like about this is it's a really nice, thick concealer. And I use this solely underneath my eyes for my under eye circles. And honestly, I've never seen a concealer work under my eyes like this does. It is amazing. It's thick, but it's not so thick that you can't blend it out and make it look beautiful. It's thick and it's got really, um, it's really pigmented, it's really opaque, it's pretty heavy duty coverage, so if you don't like heavy coverage concealers, this is probably not for you. But as far as coverage goes, I put this on under my eyes and then I kind of extend it down and into like a triangle shape so it all blends so it doesn't look like I've got this white white whiteness under my eyes and then I put my foundation over it and a lot of times in the past when I have done that I have found that the concealer kind of just goes away it just kind of melts away whenever I do that so the benefit doesn't do that it's really great for covering under eye circles but unfortunately my under eye circles are so dark some days I would actually need a corrector but if you don't have really bad under eye circles I would definitely recommend using this another thing I don't particularly care for about this is I got really lucky finding the fair skin tone one because it matches me pretty perfect um, but they only offer three shades and they have fair, medium, and dark. And I think that skin tones are just so complex. Like there's no, I don't know, it's just, it's weird. Um, I think that they should definitely come out with a wider range of colors for people because I can see that some people would have a very hard time finding their color. Luckily, I didn't, so. Anyway, I just, I kind of feel bad for other people that would like to use this product, but they can't because they can't find the right color for them. So that's one thing I don't like about it. The next product is a product that I use for the foundation and the powder. It's kind of a little rediscovered favorite. It is my EcoTools uh, bronzer brush. It's really, really soft, nice dome shape, but I find that this bad boy applies the foundation just amazingly well. What I do is I will put the concealer on, then I will dot just all over my face the foundation, then take this and just buff it in. And it just, it doesn't streak. It just really blends the foundation just so beautifully. It doesn't leave any little patches where there's foundation here and not here. It just it just blends it all over the face so well. I absolutely love this brush. It's a great price. You can find it from the drugstore. It's nice and big. It's soft. I just can't say enough about this. And then after I use the liquid foundation, I just go in with the same brush after I've used the foundation and put on the powder. And 
it just, it is so amazing. It has cut down so much on uh, makeup tools because this one is like a two-in-one that I can use. So it's absolutely amazing, beautiful. Now for my last product, I have got the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in Berry Smoothie. So that's what the cap looks like and I haven't taken the sticker off. That's lovely. But the color is just so gorgeous. I love this color. It's a nice, pretty, pinky berry color. And it's really moisturizing. And it just provides just the right amount of color. It's not too heavy. It's not too sheer. I think the formulation of this is amazing. I love Revlon lip products anyway. I've pretty much always had pretty good, somewhat good, <laughs> experiences with them except for their matte formulas which I talked about in the uh, least favorite products video that I did a few videos back. But other than that, for the most part, I have had really good experiences with Revlon lip products and this is the same. It is an amazing product. I'm really, really happily surprised by this and I only have this color but I am hoping to get more colors. Unfortunately, my Walmart does not offer the colors that I would like. They only have like maybe 10 colors and they offer so many more than that but oh well next time I make a trip to Ulta I will definitely have to get a bunch of them and just kind of stock up and everything so anyway thank you so much for watching and um, I will see you guys in the next video bye